Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's super early. It's like not even fully light outside yet. So if this is a little grainy, that's why. Uh, we sold some books. We're getting ready to go thrifting. We're going to hit a few different thrift stores. Hopefully that goes well. I sold Verity. I'm pretty sure I got this from a book sale and I kept it because I wanted to read it. I just read it. It is, oh my god, it is so freaking good. I just sold another copy of Verity recently for $10 plus the cost of shipping. I did not sell this one for as much because there's some damage here and whoever read it before me was a savage and dog-eared a bunch of the pages. Although you can't really see it on here. So because of the dog-eared pages and because of a little bit of wear, I ended up selling it for $6 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook Marketplace. We've got a vintage copy of Peter Straub's Coco, and this is book one of the, I think it's the Blue Rose series. I grabbed this out of a little free library, traded it out for another book that I had. Sorry, I didn't mean to sniff right into the microphone, but um, I originally really wanted to read this, and that's why I grabbed it, and when I looked it up, I found out that it was part of a series, and because I only have book one of the series, and I just don't feel like tracking the other two books down, I decided just to sell it. Um, it's been a little while. I really thought it was going to sell prior to Halloween. It didn't. It just sold for $10 plus the cost of shipping on Facebook Marketplace, so that one is ready to go, and also this morning I sold Cujo by Stephen King for $20 plus the cost of shipping also on Facebook Marketplace. Most of my books sell on Facebook Marketplace. Some, every once in a while, the Stephen King ones will sell on Etsy. But more often than not, all the books I sell are all on Facebook Marketplace, just FYI. Oh, I heard them say something about a holiday sale. We're going to haul balls. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely worth looking up. It's so cute. I'm pretty sure it's a green pepper. If it's not damaged, I might grab that. There's like a teeny tiny crack. It's right on the lip right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I don't know. We could look it up. No. <laughs> if it's damaged, we're leaving it. Well, this guy looks like he goes for about $25. They want four for him. He's got one tiny little glaze chip, but other than that, he's in alright condition. I don't know how much paperback books, like large paperback books, are here, but if it's like a dollar, I'm gonna grab that. Looks like this guy is going for about $15. And then this is going for about $15. So that's going for about $10. Those are personal buy. And one out of two of the CDs he found. That's going back. One of the, the cords that are going to it looks like it's burned. Not about selling a fire hazard. So that one's going back. I have to know what this is. It's a freaking box. Cute. Oh my gosh, they always decorate those things. So freaking cute. Are you pointing at this? Mm -hmm. Indeed. Here, hold this. Um, might be it. Cool, we get to place our 11 63 that we bought for this one and the other one. It's been so long since I've sold a pound puppy. I don't even know how much they go for anymore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's the one thing I don't like about this place. They don't price anything. So once you dig it out, then they tell you it's $6. Yep, apparently I definitely should have been worried. We just bought a cello. Although it was only 31 something, 31 some change. I, I don't know. Wish blankets weren't so expensive here. I don't even see a price on it. All right, it says as is. Why is it as is? Oh my gosh, I love these. They remind me of my grandma's house. No, it's cool. I didn't want to get down that aisle anyway. Both of those ladies are literally right there chit chatting. Found some Emmy Hadley. $7.99 for five pieces. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna get those. And it wasn't a bust. Rich found a couple of CDs that are brand new and a t shirt. We're back, we're home, we're done. Now, what did we buy? Yes, we bought a quarter scale 
cello. Okay, now I know why it was $35. We had a 15% off coupon. I know now why it was $35. There is a metal rod that goes through this hole that is stuck inside of it. I have no idea how Roger's planning on getting it out, but I will let you know once he does. <laughs> I got this little vintage toboggan decoration that is stuck on my books. I paid 50 cents for it. I just thought it was super adorable. And there is a sticker there. I don't know what that means. I haven't looked it up. So we'll see. If it's not worth anything, I'll keep it because I think it's cute. Ignore my dog. He is just in a mood right now, and he's mad that Rich just walked out without him. Um, one of these is a weird CD. I think it's this one, maybe. I don't know. Yes, it's this one. I don't know if he's planning on keeping that or if he's selling that. These two are brand new. Um, B.B. King and Eric Clapton and Diane Ross. So both of these are pretty good. I'm assuming those are going to the booth. He may throw them online. I'm not entirely sure. Books. We have a little bit of a theme going with the books. We've got Kristen Hanna, The Nightingale, which I have personally for myself in hardcover. So I'm probably going to just sell that one. And I've already read The Great Alone, and I believe I have this exact book already listed. So it's just going to go in the wayside until the one that I've listed sells, and then I will list that one. This is also a personal. It just sounded really good Anne Gallagher grew up enchanted by her grandfather's stories of Ireland, broken, heartbroken, I don't have my glasses on, so just bear with me here, heartbroken by his death, she travels to his childhood home to spend his, to spread his ashes, there overcome with memories of the man she adored, and consumed by a history she never knew, she is pulled into another time, bro, yeah, so that's what those are. Uh, these are personal. <laughs> we do Christmas cards because it's fun. And this guy, I should be able to get about 25 bucks for. He does have one tiny glaze chip right there. I will obviously disclose that information. Otherwise, he's in pretty good condition. This is a vintage t-shirt that we did not get to show you. It is Myrtle Beach. If you haven't been to Myrtle Beach, go to Myrtle Beach. I love the area. This is swell. <laughs> It's a vintage, single stitched, and it's on the Screen Stars tag, size XL, which is small for an XL, but yeah. I don't know what to ask for this. Similar ones, Rich was saying we're going for like 18 to 25. So maybe we'll start at 25, a little high, and see what happens. Go from there. We got this set of M.A. Hadley, which is probably our best score of today. These are all a little bit different. The whole set, we got five pieces for $7.99. Um, the plates, individually, I probably should get about $22 a piece for them, maybe. Somewhere between $20 and $25. I've sold one M.A. Hadley mug, and I think I got $25 for it, and it didn't last very long. And then these are, I don't know, like dessert bowls, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. But same with these. I should expect, like, $20 a piece, maybe $15. I haven't looked those up yet. I don't know, but yeah, I think these were our best scores, considering probably 100 plus out of the set. And then I grabbed this guy. Okay, his box doesn't want to move. Hold, please. He is a modern snowman, and I'm pretty sure from what I did, the research, it was like a Costco thing. But they're still going for like 15-ish dollars with the box. I bought him for three, so I don't think he'll last too long. I'm hoping he won't last too long, considering I spent three on him, and he's only worth, like, 15. If not, ugh, I made a bad buy, but we'll see. I'll list him quick, and hopefully he won't last very long. He's cute. There's no damage to him or anything, so I think that's it. Not a huge score, but did pretty well today, considering. And on that note, I think... Oh, Rich is already... Or just already grabbing tools to try to get those. I will keep you guys updated on how that goes. And uh, if if all goes well, we should be able to get like a couple hundred bucks out of that cello. Um, yeah, I'm going to sign you guys off. We'll see you on the next. Bye.